So now let's see how we can work around with commenting preferences inside of Adobe Acrobat Reader. So over here you can see that I got two comments and if I want to work around with its common properties, then what I can do is I can go around into comments and then you can see that there's comments and to access the preferences, I can go and click on the S3 dot option right here. And then what I can do is I can click on commenting preferences and here you have different options. So over here in the font, you can see that I can choose around the font that I want to use while I'm typing out the comment. I can work around with the font size and there's different options I can enable or disable. So you can, uh, you can actually go around and then try these uh, different options out. Let's say for example, here it says, uh, like let's say for example, there's like hide uh, co comment pop-up uh, when the comment list is open. There's automatically open uh, common pop-ups for comment other than notes and automatically open up pop-ups on mouse roll over. So as those options are on right now, so if I were to go over here, if I were to close this comment right here, and as I were to go here, you can see that as I roll over, you get the comment. But if I were to click here, you can see that the comment box stays in. So if I were to go around over here into comment, and if I were to go over here into commenting preferences, then what I can do is I can disable these out and press OK. So once I do that and close this out as I hover over, you don't see the comment pop up anymore. So what you have to do is you have to click on it because that option is enabled just like that. So that is how you can change out the preferences. So uh, you have to experiment uh, around with different options so that you can get uh, to know all of them to let the comment uh, function behave as you want. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.